all this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on valor's deed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal, then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I have heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man... Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find. Then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something.
Must be fair of its camp ahead. <laughs> Cold and dirty. Must be the place. <laughs> Throw yourself in Gunungag up, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Faravit! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravit. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevit. This whelp needs scalding. Over, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Ferevit. I'm here to fight pigs. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! Stay with me, friend! The pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Masters of God and ambush. Have it here. Over here! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster!
Enough fooling. Feel stronger already. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Left me a challenge. Done with reading good and godly places. I should be home filling my belly. 
Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon, and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. The pigs spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dins, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweyer! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Picts march this winter with help from an unknown quarter. <laughs> the pigs spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Stop! They spotted us! Run forward! Run. Faster! The Faster! south of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenweyer. We need to plan our next move.
The Picts don't raid often during winter. Their scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out.
Boulevard. My thanks, Ava. Saskiar. <laughs> There's the chief. Now strike him down. Have you come to join your fallen? You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. 
Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That stark seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravit. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Donacaster for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Wolds. shrinks up in each victory, like his cock, eh? Huh? Hafton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not keep him waiting.
to test your skill at Orlog. Slow sips, Hafton. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. Her soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you. But I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Feravid has planned an attack on the pigs at Magnis. Without you. That twin-faced... Backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bjorn Going for a walk down to the temple. No sense wasting a fine goblet. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Go, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Moira's not here. This letter came from Wiki. She must have gone there. I should go. Find Moira. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Go. What's this ruckus? Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Come on out of there, you heathen lover. Jet, need to get on the other side. Away from my house, you ruffians. Go, before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It'll take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed. Killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. 
Tell Hafton he can have her. No. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Show me what lies ahead. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. <laughs> It. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? He gave your goblet little more than a second glance. He rants and broods in his high tower. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of skulls and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. 
He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? <laughs> 